Hey everybody. So here we have the QQ Metal Lux Black Max in for service for fall 2023 for its annual maintenance. And in the previous video, I replaced the old car reader with this car reader here. One of these uh, Buy Easy readers that has the USB 3 ports, the USB 3 SD micro SD reader, as well as a Type C port. Now, in this video, we're going to be um, putting Windows 11 on this thing. So, we currently have Windows 10 on it here at the moment. I'm not sure which build of 10 we have. So, for example, if we go ahead and look, see what we have. Twenty one H one, so yeah, it's just definitely due for an update. So that being said, we could update this to one of ten twenty to H two, but of course we're gonna put one of eleven on here. And of course, this machine does not meet the Microsoft Elite class most of its requirements on Windows eleven. But you know something, I really don't care. We're going to put Windows 11 on anyway since this is my parents' machine. And I'm always able to work on it if it needs to be worked on. Now, I'm guessing they weren't installing updates on this thing, which wouldn't surprise me. It's been a little while since I worked on it. Anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and insert our Windows 11 installation media into a USB port. Alrighty. And I should note that this installer has been set up using Rufus to bypass the Elite Class hardware checks. I've already did a backup of this thing. I backed up the SSD which has the OS and stuff on it. And I have also backed up the data storage. That way if something goes wrong I can easily just roll back. Now of course if you did not have your installer modified, it would deny you access to install. It would say your system does not meet the minimum requirements, but of course you can see we're past that stage now. And there is in fact a way you can bypass the requirements with a simple command switch. I'll put a card to that in the upper right corner. So we're going to install Windows 11 Pro and we're going to keep personal files and apps and just to show you we go to update you can see this machine does not meet the Microsoft Elite class mills it's required for Windows 11 so let's begin installing Windows 11 on this non elite class PC and we'll come back when it's done okay so now I have Windows 11 on here and I've already went through the process of configuring some things like the taskbar and stuff like that, left lining the icons. I've already got OpenShell updated, however, I still need to update a few other things, such as um, install the Windows Photo Viewer that was previously in Windows 10. Of course, actually, it's the one for Windows 7. But once I get that done and run Windows updates, we'll be ready to take this thing back over there to my parents' house and just make sure it works with the printer and stuff. Okay, so we just got done running Windows Update and installing at least most, if not all, the latest updates, including the recent cumulative update preview that provides the new File Explorer, for example. You can see we open, when we open File Explorer, we have the Home tab and we have the new interface up top. And also, we go to Settings. You can see how Settings opens up with the home page now. And of course this is a couple of things. But yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to be taking this machine back over to my parents' house, hooking it up, and just making sure it detects printers and all that good stuff. So there you have it. The Black Max is now running Windows 11. Have you enjoyed it? Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I have a new video post. 
Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.